Well, hello, my beautiful Torians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for the end of May, right through the end of June 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. Reading, so I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurians, this is your Twin Flame reading for those twins who are currently in separation. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile will be your pile, the second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile is the unified energy of how things are going to come together, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of regarding their Twin Flame connection at this time? Um, also, it is worth noting what a Twin flame connection is because if anyone is mentally physically or emotionally abusive that is not a twin flame connection that is more likely to be a false flame connection and that will waste your wonderful time and drain you of your beautiful love okay uh, twin flames they are magnetic it is an otherworldly experience almost obsessive where you can't stop thinking about each other and that's both parties it's not just the chaser there tends to be uh, a dynamic that is true and typical of most cases not all but uh, most cases where there is a chaser, a runner, and a separation period. Now, that separation period, it can be for months, years, weeks, days. It depends on the spiritual journey that you have with your twin and also how long it takes for them to spiritually evolve. I always say do not wait for your twin flame connection because, um, you know, they will take as long as it takes in order to step outside their comfort zone. But twin flames, they're actually a spiritual awakening, not actually a physical romantic type relationship that is typical to form, it's more about a process that prepares you um, to release lower vibrational energy that keeps us stuck, you know, in general. And that could be uh, through fear, um, addictive patterns, unhealthy attachments, and it's really an intense inner vibrational transformation. But it's a personal journey of discovery that must be done alone. And that's why uh, there is a separation period. So both parties, when you meet your twin, it's like mirrored behavior. You're meeting, you know, a vibrational version of yourself that is vibrating in the same frequency. And it triggers you um, to really uh, walk away on your own and discover your true purpose and embrace unconditional love. And only then can a reunion process take place and be sustainable. But initially when you meet, the chaser tends to be open to um, you know, surrendering to the union. They know that they've met their twin, they know it's love. And of course, the twin who is the runner, they also know that they have met their twin and there is love and is very deep, but it's also overwhelming for this person because it triggers things within themselves that they've been running away from for their whole life. So, uh, you know, twin flames, they tend to be running away from pain or trauma that they experienced. And twins, they tend to have had a very similar journey. So when you meet your twin, you know, there is a familiarity there and the, the struggles or the strife may be very similar but you know it's really about acknowledging that both parties need to really look at the shadow work and spiritually evolve. I always describe twin flames like magnets. They're identical in their polarities and they attract each other, but they also repel each other as well. There's always a space in between. And if the chaser keeps reaching out to their counterpart, the space in between will always remain the same because the vibrations don't change. So it's not a game, it's an energetic match. And you know, your twin is drawn to you for a reason. They're coming back for a reason because they want to be with you but um, they cannot articulate how they feel. They get overwhelmed by their feelings and they avoid their feelings because, you know, sometimes they're not emotionally mature enough to accept how they feel. So they keep their twin at arm's length. And, you know, 
uh, twin flames are an activated relationship. It's more about accepting your spiritual awakening than it has to be about the twin itself. So in due time, you will reunite with them. And I always say, don't wait, because the universe will orchestrate a meeting between you and your person um, when the moment is right. Now, I'm just going to go and get the rest of your cards there. Uh, we've got the Five of Cups, so I feel like you've done a lot of grieving over this relationship. I feel uh, there's this emptiness. Um, when you get the Five of Cups, this is really about you really looking at the sadness, you know, how disappointed you are in this relationship. It's been very difficult. I feel, you know, there's almost a point of regret here where you wish that you had not met your twin, but um, I feel that... You've learned some lessons in this connection about reciprocity, about self-love, about self-care, and how to be really independent and love your life as a singular entity is one of the lessons that I feel you have been learning in this connection. Thank you so much, Bert. Guys, great angels. Can you please guide? We got the tower. So you had a bit of a shock in this connection. Uh, I feel, you know, this person, they really kind of shook you to the core. You may not have been looking for love when you first met this person. Uh, we've got the Ten of Wands there, and uh, we have the Eight of Swords. So looking at this energy, I feel like you're really not sure about this person right now because you're feeling really stuck. Uh, you're changing your own life around right now. You're focusing on your own needs, and I feel part of you is like bracing yourself for uh, a period in life where you're going to be alone, but that's not true at all. You know, sometimes we can open ourselves up to a twin flame connection or a soulmate so you do have a choice it's very different um it's very rewarding to be in a twin flame connection once it comes together and as you know a twin flame connection it's like no other experience it's intense it's um passionate and it's just a different experience than when you meet someone else who is a soulmate soulmate is also really nice and passionate but it just doesn't have that uh, level of depth to it that a twin flame connection can bring. So, uh, you know, it is a very difficult experience to take and not everybody takes the twin flame connection in each lifetime. But there's so much more on the internet of what it means to be in a twin flame connection. I've just given you really like a basic of uh, what it is to be in that twin flame connection. Uh, but ultimately the twin flame has to do with our idea of what love looks like based on our experiences to date. And um, basically, this is created from a culmination of things we experienced from childhood right up until now. And basically, it's about looking at life's wounding and the unhealthy behaviors or patterns that we fall into and need to heal before we can move to the next level, okay? Uh, now, your first card there is the Wheel of Fortune, changing cycles. So this connection, it feels very much indecisive. It feels like one moment you're kind of like in, you love this person, you have so much care and devotion, um, and you want to take that leap of faith with this person, but also you feel that this connection is not built on solid foundations. And if you know my readings, we tend to get like a, a wheel of fortune and a tower at the same time in a reading. So I feel it's almost like meeting your twin was a great shock, but also a very turbulent shock, okay? It's almost like there were intense highs, intense lows, and I feel, you know, you offered so much love, caring, and nurturing to this person. Um, but with that tower energy, right now you're feeling stuck. So this is like how you're feeling about your twin, and this is how they are feeling about you, okay? And then it's the outcome of how things come together. But the Wheel of Fortune indicates you know that this person was destined to cross your path and that you were meant to be with this person for some reason. And right now, you may be going through a period of reflection to work out what that reason was. Because why is it so painful if it's meant to be fate, if it's meant to be destiny that you're meant to be with this person? I'm actually being given a song right now, so I'm just going to really tap into that one moment, please. Okay, um, I wonder why, I never wonder why things have to be this hard. I just want, I just want love. I just want, I just want love. Okay, um, I think it said something unconditional. 
okay? Um, so this is a song, I have heard this song in one of the readings before, and maybe about two or three years ago, I can't really pinpoint the date, and maybe it was for your sign or not, I can't really tell, but uh, the song is called, I think it's called Unconditional by The Bravery, actually, and um, it's basically an indication that you have so much unconditional love to offer, but why does it have to be this hard? You know, you're offering a part of yourself to this person, and, you know, the thing that we have to understand about a twin flame connection is whilst it does feel like rejection, your twin is keeping you at arm's length because you got in too deep and that they are running from a part of themselves that they're not willing to face right now because twin flames, they tend to meet after a level of trauma. So this song, you may hear it in the next coming weeks or months. It indicates that your person is going to reach out. I can see here uh, that your person is going to reach out because you got a page of cups here for your person and a king of cups. There is a lot of love here, uh, but you're not so sure. I feel some of you are turning your back on this because you can't do this anymore. You're trying to change your life around you know, you're trying to build your own luck, bring in more abundance. And some of you are actually asking the universe, not just for signs and omens, but I feel this card really connects to the song. It's like you searching for answers. Why did this connection have to be so difficult? Why, when it was destined to be, did it disappoint, let you down, make you feel like, um, you know, you were not enough in some way, even though you're more than enough? I feel this person that you're dealing with, they projected their sort of abandonment feelings upon you and then ultimately left the union because uh, they felt overwhelmed by their feelings. So uh, they've got the temperance card. That tends to mean a person was very disruptive in their life when they met you. They had a very chaotic kind of lifestyle. They felt really out of control in love and they've tried to work really hard to remain comfortable in their own skin and be comfortable with emotional security. But when they met you, that was not the case, okay? So you can see this person was destiny. Also, some of you are actually thinking about moving or relocating in life. You're really turning your whole life around. And I actually get a sense from you, my beautiful Taurians, that you're completely a different person than when this person met you first. Uh, it's almost like you've turned your life around to such a point, and now you're focused north is what I'm being given. So that's actually a really good indication that you're focusing on your direction. And when we point north, it means that you're connected to your calling, okay? But still, it's really hard. Uh, the Five of Cups, you know, there's an energy here of pessimism. Some of you may feel that um, no one's going to join you on those seats, but that's not true at all. I actually see there is a potential for uh, new love to come in. You may even be talking to someone new very soon if you haven't already. But ultimately, I feel in this connection, you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit like you're drifting. Like, how can you know that this person was your person? How can there be so much love, care, and devotion offered and felt in this connection? And did they ever feel the same? Well, the answer is yes. So I feel there's a lot of love here, but this person, they had some obstacles that they could not overcome in order to offer you the love that you truly deserve and desire. They were not capable of meeting you at that depth that you were at when you first met. And remember... We can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves. So there has to be spiritual evolution. But the Five of Cups, you're withdrawing from this connection, okay? Five of Cups actually normally has a figure that is lamenting three cups that have spilt. And two cups are being ushered in on the sidelines. So it indicates that, yes, a soulmate could actually enter into your life very, very soon. And I will pull a card on it. But also I feel that this person that you love, your twin flame, I feel like they are starting to level up in life and they want to be the person that you want them to be. But ultimately, the most important thing is they want to be that person for themselves because we can never change another person, okay? They need to step up themselves and they need to choose you in the relationship. And I feel like you may be pleasantly surprised because these two cards actually represent surprise. Just when you're not feeling it or with you, you're withdrawing from this connection because you feel that it's over, which is what I feel from your cards, I have this sense of exhaustion, like you can't do this anymore. And again, this figure is turning their back. And your outcome energy, this figure is also turning their back. So I feel like you're done uh, with this connection and you can't see how things are going to come together. However, I do feel that destiny is intervening to make sure that you and this person meet another time is what I see here, okay? Now we have the tower there. The tower is liberation. So I feel some of you have been in a cycle of repeat with this person. It seems to go the same way. This person may come in and out of your life and really like promise the world sometimes and really mean it 
but they just don't deliver it, okay? They've got a King of Cups here and a Temperance card. So this means that this person was put on hold from being in the connection with you so that they would not have any distractions and that they would focus on their true life's mission and calling. Because twin flames, they tend to have a calling in each lifetime and you are being called to focus on yours. That's why you're facing north right now and your person had to discover that about themselves. If the twin flames came together without connecting to their true life's calling and mission, each of them would distract each other and they would not fulfill their destiny. So they have to remain apart for a certain period of time until they connect to their true life's mission and purpose path and then they come together in union. And your person is now on their true calling path. But with the tower there, I really feel that you're going to be surprised this person reaches out, okay? Now, also I feel here that the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune is representing a major change for you in this uh, connection, a sudden change. And it's like just when you feel like it's over, suddenly they come rushing in because that Five of Cups is really like calling to me. And the Five of Cups is, uh, I just want to show you, for those who don't know what the Five of Cups looks like, but I'm sure the most of you know what that Five of Cups is all about. Um, it means that whilst you're busy lamenting all the things that went wrong in the connection, um, the universe is suddenly changing things around so that the person that you're with is emotionally available to step up and offer the relationship that you've been longing for. Because the Five of Cups can be a yearning. It can be yearning for a person. Why did they not show me their feelings? Why did they not tell me what was going on? Why is it that um, as soon as things were starting to blossom, they actually bolted from the union and left me bereft and standing alone with these feelings? So, oh my gosh, was it? There we go. Uh, so they said at the beginning, at the beginning, so I thought it was here because this is my beginning, but actually it's the beginning of the deck. So, um, Next time I'm going to actually think of the beginning of the deck. But we've got the Five of Cups there. This figure is hunched over, feeling so much sadness and disappointment, and also a level of boredom of like this repetitive cycle. Uh, you may feel that it's just been too difficult. But as you can see, two cups are being ushered here. Like this figure here cannot see how there is love coming for them. Just like you can't see right now how you and this person can ever be together with what's gone on. Now, I'm going to see what happened here, but right now the energy I've been given is that this person was put on hold in order to put them towards their um, life purpose, to connect to their life calling and really sort of listen to their heart and have an awakening. I mean, they were meant to go through a spiritual awakening just like you, but they were not ready when you first met each other. And now it's their time and they're having a major epiphany and they're choosing love. So I want to see what happened there. Uh, but let me just pull one card on your energy before I move on, because right now I'm just seeing a lot of disappointment, a lot of shock, a lot of isolation, because the tower energy is a very isolated card. It can indicate that you're someone who stands out from the crowd. People are drawn to you naturally, but you want that one person and that one person, the experience you're having with them right now, it makes you feel so alone. But the twin flame journey is to uh, encourage you to be a pillar of strength in your independent, solitary uh, energy. So we do the most spiritual awakening when we are uh, in silence or on our own. And then, of course, we gravitate towards uh, soul tribe members as well. Uh, we've got the nine of cups here. Okay, now the Nine of Cups is basically to uh, live a good life, basically. It is to be really proud of yourself, that you've been tested in this connection and now you're coming through a testing time. You're transitioning and it feels very much like uh, this relationship is going to start evolving in the way that you hoped for because this means a wish, a deep held wish is going to be coming true for you. But it also indicates that you fulfilled your part of the Twin Flame connection, okay, because this is a fulfillment card. So it it basically means that as soon as you withdraw, remember the magnets, as soon as you withdraw, put all that love, care, devotion, and attention inwards on yourself for your personal development path, then you change the frequencies of the magnet. You are the change that you seek in the relationship and you encourage this magnet or your twin to uh, change their frequency so you can come together in a match. So you're in a very catalytic kind of vibration right now where it's all change. Um, and as you can see, these two cards are major cards of change. So 
I feel like you didn't want to turn your back on this connection. I feel as a protective measure, you're choosing security um, to enjoy your independence and to really go on a period of soul searching. I mean, for some of you, you may have even felt like you've been in a very sort of sparse landscape, almost like a desert where, uh, you know, all your tears have dried up and you're just feeling really numb and just wondering what next. But actually, I feel a cycle of change is upon you and it's going to surprise you, okay? Um, now, we do have the higher calling card and this is your person's card. This is the equivalent of the judgment card. So this is all about an awakening, a sudden epiphany, a realization that they're in love with you, okay? Um, when a twin withdraws, again, it's not a game, it's an energetic exchange, but when a twin withdraws, it normally teaches lessons about value, about reciprocity, about um, knowing your worth. And I feel that's one of the lessons that you were meant to learn in this lifetime, my beautiful Taurians. And this person that you're dealing with, now they're a little bit more focused in their life about their true mission, their true calling. Whereas before, I felt that they were kind of in a very chaotic um state is what I'm being given. Also the judgment card in this position, it can indicate this person, they suffered from low self-esteem and they didn't actually have much confidence, but they tried to cover that up with not a facade, but it's like they wanted to be what uh, they thought you wanted them to be. When deep down, I feel that this person has been rejected in the past, actually, is what I'm being given. And it knocked their confidence. And then when they met true love, they felt that true love will leave or will discover that uh, they are not... Um, everything that you want them to be or perceive them to be. Because this person, there's an energy of them struggling with doubt. They, they struggle with doubt. And this is just across the board. So they may be very indecisive in making a decision, this person. Um, but I feel they're really stepping up now and they're facing their fears. Because the judgment card basically means second chances. So even if you've given this person a second or a third chance, this person wants to reunite. This is a card of, um, you know, renewal or freeing themselves up because they've been at a self-evaluation period. And now they're choosing a different life, a different path. And they're choosing a healthier one, one that is full of love, care, and devotion. And what I'm being given here is whatever path your person was on, they've just realized, and it's taken them a long time to uh, mature and realize this, but they've realized that there's more to life than just things. It's almost like the answer in life is love. And this person feels regret to some degree that they let love go uh, and that they could actually have balance. I feel this person was also told or taught that they couldn't have the two things at the same time. They couldn't have like a loving relationship and a career or a loving relationship and adventure. It's almost like they felt they had to choose and they chose freedom and you know, a career path or they chose adventure, but I feel now they're choosing love is what I'm being given. Now, this of course is how they feel about you. So they want to reunite and I feel like they've been um, analyzing this connection and they want to rebirth it, as it were. I feel like they recognize they need to let some negative patterns go in their life in order to step up and offer the love that you truly deserve and desire. The King of Cups indicates, and again, male or female, it's not a gender-specific reading. The King of Cups indicates that this person, they have so much love for you, so much. And it is actually unconditional love that they're feeling right now, but I feel it took them a while to get to that place. I also feel this person, they were emotionally manipulated in the past by another relationship and it caused them to close down. Uh, thanks so much, I'm truly grateful. I'm being given an energy right now because it's almost like I'm hearing, you know, well, if they love me so much, why don't they just tell me? Or why don't they just, you know, talk it out, tell me how they feel. So that's what's coming out right now from an angry place is what I'm feeling. And it's totally understandable. I'm sending you a huge hug out there, my beautiful Torians. I'm not here to take anyone's side or give anyone a way out. I'm here to understand each person's path so I can understand the outcome for you. But what I'm being given here is that this twin flame, they didn't know how to articulate their feelings from a healthy place is what I'm being given. Um, this person loves you dearly and deeply, but the depth of their love for you actually triggered a lot of fear and a lot of uh, worries and doubts surfaced in their mind is what I'm being given as well. 
um, your deep conversations and your unconditional love for them actually triggered unhealed responses. And they let their ego get in the way of true love, of what was something that could have been perfect is what I'm being given. And um, they did it. They stepped back as a protective measure for their heart. So I'm just going to pull a card regarding this because I feel this person, you know, deep down, they have the capability of being very supportive, of offering the holy grail of love. They have a lot of empathy and they can feel you pulling away right now, but they also understand that because they needed to step back themselves in order to go through a period of growth so that they could be in a position to offer you a healthier love. So either this person, you know, had some sort of toxic pattern of repeat, pain, three of swords, okay. Now, it's such a, a, a cliched sentence that's coming up, and I don't actually agree with it myself, because we all have choices, right? Uh, but sometimes, you know, when we are not evolved, like many years ago when I was going through my twin flame experience and the separation from a karmic that had happened previously, I didn't consciously think about hurting my twin because I was the runner. I actually kept my twin at arm's length. But um, it was more about my pain at the time, because of ego, I was lost in that painful narrative from a previous experience that I didn't actually see the love that I had on offer in front of me because I was so fearful. Don't get me wrong, I loved my twin when they came in, but I was so scared of being hurt like I had been just before I met my twin that I put the brakes on and kept my twin at arm's length. And your person, look at that, those two cards. And again, I'm not here to give an excuse, but Three of Swords indicates you met this person at a very critical time in their life where they were very hurt. And the Nine of Swords indicates this person that a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, they're haunted by a past situation, something that really damaged them. Now, this could be something that they told you about or not, um, but I feel the way that this person stepped away and inadvertently hurt you as well because they were protecting themselves, I feel they regret it. There's a lot of regret with this person. And also I feel someone, I'm, I'm being given a very sort of painful conversation right now. So either this is a painful conversation that they had with you or it's a painful conversation they had with someone else. And it basically wounded them so deeply that they almost like just disappeared. Okay, so either um, you met this person after they'd gone through this painful experience and they felt like they were a shell of their former self. They were so haunted um, by this experience. Or it's after they sort of step back from you. It's almost like, I don't want to say ghosted, but I feel this sense of they just felt like they didn't know who they were or they were in limbo. They were very lost, very lost person um, when you met each other and they were not ready for love at all. Uh, and again, that's no excuse, but I'm picking up on someone who's a very hurt person who kept love at arm's length because there's this energy here of this person felt they didn't deserve love. But I'm being given this energy that they miss you more than they ever have shown and that they sabotage this connection and they truly regret it. Um, they're also feeling the consequences of their actions and they actually are giving me the sense that they love you more than you will ever know, but they would like the opportunity to one day tell you how they feel. So that's coming through there as well. Now, the Temperance card is all about balance and harmony, so I definitely see that they're trying to recalibrate their life in some way. Um, I feel like they are changing their life around too, but in a different way. It's almost like they're blending their energies to try and be a little bit healthier. Uh, it's almost like they're aware of their fears or their um, chaotic kind of cycles or patterns repetitive cycles and I feel this person is trying to move away from that but they're aware of it uh, I feel like they're trying to choose love and I just get this energy that they're also uh, focused on their purpose and I feel that this person is currently re-examining their priorities in love and life and now they're choosing love because before they didn't I feel like they chose a very disruptive or chaotic lifestyle because it made them feel alive because this person um, something in the past hurt them quite badly that they became very numb so they sought out things that made them feel alive and I feel 
this energy that they didn't want to settle down because their perception of love meant settling down or surrendering their wild days. But they could have been wild with you as well. So uh, I feel this person is learning that they can blend and merge energies. And there's a sense that when they were with you, you offered them so much peace, peace of mind. And at the time, they didn't see the value of that. And I feel, because I just heard, well, that was a mistake. Um, so I feel this person realizes their mistake in that. Now, this is the outcome energy. We have the maturity card. So this is the uh, uh, strength card, of course. So this is about someone doing bold and daring acts to change their circumstances. And, you know, this is their pile because we flip it as the outcome. So this indicates this person is choosing love, but also I feel like they are coming out of a comfort zone in order to face their fears and overcome them. Also, they're implementing healthier self-care practices in order to be strong enough to walk by your side. Also, we've got the Page of Cups, a message of love, and the Ten of Wands, okay? So um, the Page of Cups basically means that this person, they have an apology to offer, but also they want to invite you to something. So I feel they will message you and invite you uh, to something in particular. It's almost like I'm getting an energy of, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, but you may not be happy with the message that you get. It's almost like they reach out and say, you know what, I could really have done with your help on this thing. Or they are going to tell you that they're about to do something really monumental. And they'll be like, I wonder if you could help me out on this thing. You know, part of you, as soon as you get that message, you're going to be like, don't use me to do what you want and get me to help you out. But I feel this person is trying to open up a dialogue in order to say, I need you. Okay, this is this person's love language in some way. They need you. Um, and of course, there may be a little bit of codependency going on there, but this is what I feel is going to come through first. Uh, Page of Cups, this person loves you. Pages often bring news. I feel this person is going to initiate, you know, a message of attraction, or of love for you. And I feel it's going to be a very sensitive message. However, there is going to be something attached to it, which is like, I need some help on something, or I'm really busy. If only you were here to help me. That sort of uh, message coming through there. Um, now, we've also got that Ten of Wands, which means this person, they have a lot of baggage that they're sorting through, and it is heavy. They've been carrying this load with them for a long time. So this is something that they experienced before they even met you. So I feel this is them trying to clear space for love, to create a new beginning, to basically release and say goodbye to emotions or relationships or situations that they realize no longer belong in their life. And this moment is them decluttering in order to create space for new. So I do feel this person's going to message you. I feel they're still decluttering their life, still working through the stuff. They want to talk about the history of you too as well is what I'm seeing there however you've withdrawn and you're not so sure okay um, you've got the high priestess energy which is about of course developing your intuition but it's also an energy of being very secretive you're not going to be so open to this person you're creating an air of mystery not on purpose but because you feel this person needs to step up and prove that you should give them another chance because the High Priestess energy is really about opening the doors to the subconscious mind. You know that there is a deep psychic bond with this person, something that you really want to explore, and sometimes you feel it's a complete mystery. But also, I feel like you're reprogramming yourself in some way, um, you know, almost reprogramming your thoughts or your actions toward this person where you're stepping back. Um, and it's beneficial because it allows them to come towards you so that you're not always leading. There has to be reciprocity here. But this card is like you almost being in review, reminding yourself of the times where this person didn't step up or really connecting to what it is you want them to stop doing or what you want to stop accepting from this person. And I feel like your change is rewriting the narrative of this particular relationship and it will be very beneficial long term. Um, you know, the high priestess is mute. So when this person comes with a message, I feel you're going to pause for a while before you even think about messaging this person. It's not that you're making them wait on purpose. It's almost like you have everything you want to say. But suddenly, when you go to commit some words on the page or on text, suddenly you feel lost for words because 
there's just so much disappointment and sadness with the way things were and the way things have gone. And it didn't have to be this way if people could have had an honest, open dialogue. But I really feel this person, they could not articulate healthily how they felt because they were coming from a place of trauma and pain. And that meant that they are defensive. They're always expecting the worst case scenario. So when you're defensive, you keep a person at arm's length because you don't trust anything, especially not unconditional love. Now we have the Knight of Swords for you. So this is you, again, turning your life around and also responding to this situation in a different way. This person is not going to have access to you in the same way. You've changed. And I feel this person is going to be surprised by that, but they're still going to push through it. They're still going to try and win you back is what I'm seeing here. And I mean, this card also indicates you turning your back on this person to a certain degree, but I feel it's more to create a healthier boundary for yourself. And I feel this is you adapting to a new way of behaving and you're going to get better results because of it, okay? I feel like you're just not making yourself available to this person. You're not playing games, but I feel like it's helping you create this boundary that makes this twin step up and really see that, you know, if they don't, it's almost like this is their last chance. If they don't, you're gone. Because I feel already you're kind of gone. There's a distance. It's almost like your body may be here, but your mind is elsewhere right now because it just feels like you've been in limbo with this connection for quite some time and you're fed up, you're tired. Just getting this sense of like overwhelming tiredness, like I can't do this again. I don't want any more cycles. And you are breaking the cycle. That's what this is really about. You're breaking down the cycle of repeat in order to choose you and whilst it's difficult and it's hard it's something that you must do for you and it helps you like transition to the next stage of this twin flame connection now we also have the eight of swords there eight is the number of the self and as you can see there's a maze so right now you may be feeling a bit lost or not really knowing the direction or when this person reaches out you're going to feel a bit stuck and not really know the way towards a healthy relationship you know as you can see the goal in the middle there is the tree uh, so that would be to plant roots with someone that is healthy to have some growth in a relationship and create stability in a relationship where you feel this person could join your family lineage but right now you feel it's a very long process to get there and there are some pitfalls along the way you can see it's a process you can see that you know once you choose a direction there's no guarantee that it's going to lead right to the center it could mean that you're going to have to double back on yourself or choose another path or you know I just feel this sense of you're kind of trying to go inwards to seek answers right now because the Eight of Swords can be releasing yourself from denial to see things as they truly are, be really logical. And I feel some of you have a head over heart battle right now regarding this twin flame connection. But because your outcome is the High Priestess, which is to withdraw and to be in silence, to contemplate, to know your mind, to enrich your soul and gain enlightenment as to who you are and what you truly want, and to have two swords there as well, that's a very guarded energy. That's like this person does not have access to you in the same way anymore. And, you know, you're in a period of reflection and deep thought as to whether they ever get access back to you again. I also feel like this energy represents you, how you have been going through this period of growth and you stand tall in the center. You're having a glow up. You are the healthiest um, that you've ever been in terms of your choices. And I feel there's a groundedness and you don't want this person to have easy access to you. So it's like you're going to make them work for it. And, you know, unless they step up and again, it's not in terms of a game. I feel like you're basically saying it's not going to be easy if you want a way back to me. Okay, you're going to have to choose your paths wisely. And sometimes that path, there's going to be a shut door or there's going to be a blockage. And, you know, you're going to have to choose a better route in order to step up and prove that you really want a long term relationship and that actually uh, you're choosing me and you're choosing love in this situation rather than choosing addiction or patterns of repeat that have not been healthy uh, to this relationship. So um, that's what I've got for your connection. I'm just going to pull one more card before I close your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Good Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of at this time? Can you please show them the way? What are they meant to see? What are they meant to be aware of? Now, the deck is getting very complex. Uh, we've got the King of Pentacles. 
Now, King of Pentacles, of course, is a Taurian card, so that means that you're choosing you at this time. Also, it indicates that this is a serious relationship and it has the potential to uh, settle down, to uh, basically become secure. But until that happens, I feel you're choosing you. And we also have Eight of Swords. So, I mean, basically, right now it's saying your person is going to reach out. There is going to be a message. They will want to reunite. But right now you're choosing you and you're not sure whether this person should have access to you any further. Because you committed yourself and I feel this is energy of you. Like, it's like, how do you proceed? How do you move forward? How can you trust that this person really means what they say? And uh, it's really hard. So right now, I feel you're going to have to decide when this person reaches out how you want to proceed because we all have free will and I can't choose for you, my beautiful Torians. But I do see that your twin is going to make some level of effort to show you, okay? So let me just pull some final cards. Um, okay. So we have, uh, this is a wonderful deck, it's by Heal and Ascent Tarot, and it is the Twin Flame Messages deck, and these are conversations that have been left unsaid. It says, I know I hurt you, I never intended to, and I actually genuinely feel that this person did not intend to hurt you, okay? Um, it's almost like you got caught in the crossfire of their chaotic life, okay? And they didn't expect love, and when it happened, they just didn't know how to do it. They just didn't know how to accept it. You know, when a person has never had unconditional love, they don't really know how to accept it, especially if they've had trauma or pain or uh, sadness in their life. They shut down. And I feel this person shut down. Um, but now they're trying to open themselves up. And it says here, I let my doubts and fears get the best of me. And again, that really came out in this reading. So uh, I do feel like there is change in this connection, but there is still some way to go. An honest, open conversation where both parties take accountability for actions and basically discuss how they feel without any shield, because that's when you will make progress. So I'm just going to go and get a think of our room before we close. Okay, we've got a lot going on here. Uh, so we have... The Becoming Ruin. This is the Birch Ruin. So this is all about purity. So this is about cleansing, decluttering your life. But it's also about, um, you know, a relationship that is evolving into what it should be in the future. So I feel both of you are going through a very testing phase of the relationship. It's a necessary rite of passage. Uh, we also have the Crown which means to remember your inner power, your inner strength, but also the crown represents the crown chakra, which is all about the knowingness of how you will be together. So I feel both of you deep down, you know that it's not over, but I feel both of you are now aware of the path that needs to be taken in order to find yourselves back together. Uh, we also have a plant pot, okay? So basically a period of growth development, but it can turn into something that is rewarding and healthy which is a positive sign. We also have the elephant, okay? Now this is a very important trinket because it means elephants never forget. You're not gonna forget what went down and neither are they, but it's more about opening yourself to removing the blockage or the obstacle. And there's a heart on that ear of the elephant as well, which is really about listening, listening to your heart, listening to what they have to say, them listening to what you have to say and really hearing what it is that you're saying and also articulating feelings. Because when you remove the blockage, only then can love prevail. And of course, finally, you've got the crystal clear heart, okay? So this is all about purity. It's about love. It's about unconditional love. Love without any condition or attachment whatsoever. And it is possible, but I feel it's going to be a bit of a project for you and this person. Um, I feel there is a conversation coming and it is possible for sure, but I feel this energy of surrendering to the connection and opening up to that level of intimacy is necessary for this relationship to make progress. Because I do feel that this person has pure love for you, okay? You know, we've got the King of Pentacles, we've got the King of Cups there, and again, male or female, it's not a gender-specific reading, it's about the energy. And it indicates that there is love, and there is growth, and there is stability, and there is potential. So I feel, you know, this could be the start of the next phase of your Twin Flame connection. So I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Torians, and love and light.